Hey, what it do, guys? Bless up. Back for another video, man. And you know, I really could could um could title this one "The Signs of the Times" in a way, but because this is kind of the framework of thinking about this video. But we're gonna go through go through two scriptures. I'm gonna talk about, it. and I just want to say, even to preface this, uh, in these times, man. Of course, you're in the Bible. The room wars and rumors of wars, and of course, if you're watching mainstream media, which um, I can argue why you're watching it because you know it is full of propaganda. But uh, nevertheless, though, <laughs> wars and rumors of wars, you hear the stuff. Um, I think one thing that, that was on my spirit this morning was don't trust in your money. Don't trust in your possessions. And one of the things that I was saying is I believe that, and it's not hard to see this, but I, was, I just said it. I said I believe the, that the money, the currency, um, it, it, it's something that's going to be digital. And it's something that, you know, the controllers, if you will, want to be digital. And I'm like, don't, don't concern yourself with, you. Have, of course, you got to survive, this, that, and the other. But don't, don't get to a point where your money becomes such a significance that you neglect love, you neglect respect, you neglect, you neglect, you neglect helping the poor. Uh, you you neglect helping those in need. You neglect serving. You neglect sending a kind word to someone. You neglect those things because um, we're in a society, and it's been like this for a while, where they, they want such that rat race, such that competitive edge, get ahead, get ahead, that you lose your godly advantage. And your godly advantage is, what did Christ say? Love your neighbor as yourself. You know, you know what better way you know love paraphrasing to, to uh, I mean loving your neighbor yourself. So so to be godly in this time is to be a bright light in darkness. Is to be sought in a world that has not a lot of flavor, and that's so important, man. Because the world they want to thrive on division. They want to thrive on hatred, even racial hatred. Even a, don't don't concern yourself with some of that stuff. Be honest, because it takes away your taste. It takes away your salt. Don't be concerned. I'm telling you, man, it's straight up real. Don't be concerned about a big house. Don't be concerned about a big apartment. Don't be concerned about a new car. Don't be concerned about, don't do it, guys. Don't, and I know it's tough for some people out there, number one, so I'm not neglecting that it's tough or, or saying it's not, but don't be overly concerned about possessions and things. I just heard someone say today that a big portion of America is dealing with Re, um, credit issues with their cars, and meaning something to that effect. Many they got these cars that went out buy cars that are so high that the people can't afford the cars now. The cars are too high. Um, food, the prices of food have went up uh, exponentially. These are times where, and I compare it to that old church in the in, in, in the word. And I remember in, even in the Book of Galatians, when when Paul was assigned to go speak to the Gentiles, of course Peter to the Jews. And I think James to the Jews, of course, some of the older pillars, they said, but this one thing we want you to do, or not, not to remember, help the poor. Help the poor. Help the poor. Uh, that's so important. It is so important. And, you know, you have, you have artificial intelligence. You have um, that, to be honest, going to put some people out of work. Um, when you look look at some of these these companies like the World Economic Forum, uh, some of these different different nonprofits and different governmental entities, they're talking about people being out of work. So this is something where we got to brace ourselves as believers. And I think you brace yourself by any way you feel called to. There are some some people in the challenge to talk about storing up food. There's other people to talk about the importance of feeding yourself and having a garden or having chickens or having animals. There's, you know, some to say the importance of being self-sufficient and, you know, having your uh, having your type of prepper bag ready or something. Um, you know, it's so many little different nuances. But and there's a lot of people who can't have those things. They're trying, trying to survive. I think the, 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 the point about surviving, though, that's important is helping one another. We're going to have to get rid of selfishness. And, and I'll tell you another one. We're going to have to get rid of selfishness and vain pursuits um i called it i heard it, somebody said but like toxic ambition this idea i gotta be the boss i gotta make money I gotta, that that's gonna have to go to the wayside i'm telling you because you don't know that when you're talking about the the times you have to be humble in your state that you're in you gotta say god 
if I make $20,000 a year, I need to be grateful and do what I can with that. If I make $100,000 a year, I need to be grateful. If I make, and I'll tell you this, the more money, the more you have, the more you have to understand the ability to give and to not trust in your money. I mean, we cannot trust in our possessions in this time that we're in. These are those times in the Bible where, you know, if you say you're a believer and you believe in righteousness, you believe in a marriage as a man and a woman, you believe against this, that, and the other. Hey, who's to say you're not going to face issues, you know? So as believers, we have to be so rooted in God. This, these are times where families are going to have to pray for one another. Uh, women are going to have to pray. Men are going to have to go in their prayer closets and pray. Children are going to have to pray. Communities are going to have to pray. Churches are going to have to pray. Um, you know, prayer is going to have to be so important because these are times you cannot trust in your might. You got to say, Father, lead us, help us, direct us, and guide us. So I just want to say that I'm going to read two scriptures and uh, wrap this video up. Let's go to the book of Matthew 18, uh, I mean, Matthew 19, excuse me, and 30 and 31. And this is, of course, the rich young ruler. And verse 20 says, and uh, he said, all, all, all these have I kept. The young man said, what do I still lack? <laughs> and Christ, Yahshua, this is what says, this is Jesus, said, answered and said, if you want to be perfect, go sell your possessions and give to the poor and you will have treasure in heaven. Then come and follow me. Treasure in heaven. Then come and follow me. Then the next, the next scripture we're gonna to go to is um, First Chronicles twelve and um, thirty-two. It says, "From Ishakar, men who understood the times and knew what Israel should do, two hundred chiefs." with all their relatives under their command. Thank God for the word. I think that, you know, that first scripture just tells us, hey man, we got to really try to store treasures in, in the kingdom. And then the second scripture talks about knowing the times. You know, if you understand the times, you know that the money is going to be digital. You know what the Bible says about you won't be able to buy or sell without that mark. You know that, 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 that they're trying to push that agenda, meaning you know, have the technology ready to develop those things about, you know, you won't be able to buy a sale unless you sell, sell the mark. Um, you know about the, you know, like I, I say this sometimes, but the foods, you know, the foods and the food source being so chemicalized and the water and um, the agendas, the agenda 21s and the agenda 2030s, the stack and pack agenda to put these people in cities and, um, you know, about spreading up the air with the chemtrails. I mean, the, the 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 those are the times that that that, that those are that those are the times that we're in, and in those times you got to know about okay what 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 things that should we eat to you know stay healthy what 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 you know it, it, it's not one thing it's number one seek first the kingdom it's to get yourself right spiritually but then there are other little things to say okay father what ways do we get in line to better um, prepare ourselves a little bit for possible possible changes. Uh, that this world is trying to bring about and manipulate through so on and so forth. Um, this is a spiritual war. And I think as believers, especially the, especially those who, who, saw, who said they're believers, they believe in Yeshua, they believe in Christ, they believe in the Most High God, you can't be stripped away or you can't be, I, I, let me say it a better way, your, your worries cannot be so deep in this world. <laughs> I, I, I mean, you got to be to a point, man, where if you had one pair of sweatpants and one t-shirt and one pair of shoes, you're okay with it. You're okay with it. One pair of sweats, one pair of tennis shoes, one pair of one shirt, you're okay with it. If you got, you got to eat beans, you're okay with it. That sounds radical. I know that sounds radical, guys, but the point I'm making is these times that we're going, don't you don't, you better be able to be prepared and i'm saying be prepared spiritually physically emotionally loving one another helping one another helping one another is so important i think we can get to a point in the western society where we, we become so self-absorbed that we forget that you you you, are, you get a pleasure when you really help someone you can't a lot of people try to gain pleasure with the self buying buying eating eating my 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 my, my. The pleasure really comes, really, to be honest, from helping others. You know, I think communities should be bartering. 
I think communities should be having yard sales. I think communities should be having formal markets. I think people should be buying from formal markets. I think, you know, those little things like that are going to become important because when you talk about the power of the world and the and the and the corporations and the corporation having the foods and the corporate that then I think that's a pretty big one right there the foods, the corporation corporate corp, corporatizing the food the Monsantos of the world, uh, spraying of the chemicals spraying of the food, um, you know shooting up the food with so many toxins and stuff. You're gonna need to be able to know a farmer or know a farmer's market to buy your food. It, that's gonna be a time, guys. And I mean, you can very much so argue now where you can't trust to get your food from a supermarket. Like it's it's gonna be so many little things. I think, and it's why people have to love one another, fellowship one another, text one another, call one another. Don't get into the point where you're so going through it. And I know so many people are stressed, but you're so going through it that you forget to be there for one another. You know, it's something about being there with one another, being there for one another that is so important. And being there could be your own way. But 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 understand that these times are important. Um, you know, sometimes you need to watch. I know Matthew said, you know, these are the, you know, kind of look for the signs at the times. Understand what's going on. Understand the influx of artificial intelligence. Understand these things. Don't be dumb to these things they're trying to do. But also, be like those sons of Ishakar. Understand the signs of the times, guys. And know, as they do what Israel should do, you may not know it all the way. But try to develop something where you say, okay, this is my way of trying to prepare. Take care, guys, and peace.